Welcome to Foul-Level Drive Time. In this video, I will show you the most common error when dealing with linear motors. Linear motors work like brushless motors. The feedback signal for the road position is given by three analog oil sensors mounted under the cover. The motor control is possible with a motion controller because it's designed for positioning task. If you use a linear motor with a speed controller, the standstill position may be not stable. Let's have a look at the main errors to avoid using linear motors. The first thing to check is the connection of each wire to the motion controller before power on. In case of use with Fowler motion controller, adapters are available for direct plug and play operation. If you are using a third party motion controller, just refer to the specific instruction manual for the motor connection information. The pin assignment for each connection is very important to avoid malfunction and possible motor damage. The three motor phases must be correctly plugged on the phase A, B and C position. Supply wires and the three analog oil sensor output must be connected to the corresponding connector pin. The analog sensor must be powered at 5V DC. The analog output signal for each sensor is a sinusoidal voltage of 3V peak-to-peak -peak centered at an offset voltage of 2.5V. If the supply voltage is above 5V, you may damage the analog oil sensor, so be careful when powering the, the sensors. Normally, sensor supply is delivered directly by the drive electronics, so a supply polarity inversion may damage the analog oil sensor. Double check the connection before powering. A damaged analog hole sensor typically shows a fixed output voltage instead of variable voltage during the road movement. So be careful once again with the connection. The connecting of a sensor output to the motor phase of the controller, this may cause damage to the high voltage applied on the analog output stage. The inversion of the sensor wires or the missing sensor connection or an inversion of the motor phase connection will cause bad motor control. The motor will stuck in a position point and get hot. In this case, turn off the power and recheck all the connections. Long wires act like antennas, collecting electromagnetic noise from the radiation source in the application. Noise affects the analog old sensor signal and the motor control may become unstable. To avoid this, the use of shielded wire are recommended. The shield collects the noise from the sources and it must be connected on the earth of the application wiring. On the Faulaber website, you can find an application note on wire shielding and grounding. That's interesting. During the operation, the linear motor has moving magnets. The space surrounding the magnet rod must be free from ferrous debris and the mounting screw must be no magnetic. Using a standard steel screw sensible to magnetic field, the rod movement will be affected by the mag magnetic attraction between the screw and the rod. So use non-magnetic material near the motor. You see, it's strong. The maximum screw thread length on the rod caps depends on the linear motor series. For the small motor, the LM830 is 2.5 mm. For the LM1247, is 3 mm and for the LM2070 is 8 mm. A longer screw can damage the motor rod, so use a mounting non-magnetic screw which respect the maximum length. Also for full mounting screw thread deep on the housing bottom must be respected for a correct motor assembly in the application. Because of the magnetic rod, when assembling several motors in a row, a certain minimum distance must be respected. The space around the road is a site of strong magnetic field generated by the magnets in the road. For this reason, a minimum distance between linear motors must be respected. When operate the motor uh, with moving road, you can see that we have some attraction with the magnetic field. So it's very, very strong. If you install two linear motors too close, then every movement of one rod influences the analog feedback signal on the near one, inducing unwanted small movement. And uh, if you use the linear motor with moving housing and fixed rod, 
So in this case, there is no variable magnetic field affecting the sensor. And uh, then the uh, distance can be smaller. To conclude, always refer to the datasheet information to avoid wiring errors and damage to the motor. The sensor repair could be impossible and the new stator must be purchased. Thank you for watching this video. Check out other videos on Faulaber Drive Time. Feel free to leave a comment below. Take care and goodbye.